I'm back with my buddy James Sexton, the author of If You're In My Office, It's Already Too Late. Uh, look, we got some folks in the audience with some relationship questions. All right, where's uh, Tanya? You've got a question about money. Hi. Um, so I'm a stay-at-home mom with two kids, mm -hmm. and my husband is a union carpenter who handles all the finances. We are doing good financially, so I think, and I say so I think because uh, whenever I try to talk to him about the finances, like putting money away for the kid's college fund, he says, we're fine, and not to worry about it, and I trust him. Mm -hmm. But I, um, I'm worried because I don't know anything w about our finances, and I just don't want to be foolish. I'd love some advice. Sure. Unfortunately, I have seen over the last 20 years of being a divorce lawyer that the first time a lot of women learn about the family finances is when they walk in my office and I find it out for them. And it's very rarely that they find out good news. You need to have the conversation with him. You need to say to him, I want to be involved in the finances. But again, how do you start that conversation? The way I think you start that conversation is by making it clear to him that you guys are both human. And, and God forbid something happens to him. Okay, you have children. How are you supposed to? That is the last thing you're going to want to do when something happens, God forbid. You say to him, look, I need to know some basic things about our finances just to be a responsible person who cares for our children. Just in case, you need to know where your money is. You know, collectively and individually, you need to know it. So have the conversation with him. It's important. Thank you. OK, I'm going to give you a quick advice. This is what, you could bring the subject up like James said. But here's what you want to be after. You want to be, you want to be after knowledge and control. You got to get control here. Here's a really smooth way to do it. In my current marriage, it's very helpful. All couples should have four bank accounts. You should have a bank account where the money goes into that pays for all of the necessities, food, shelter, clothing, and all the bills. The second account is where you all agree to save a percentage of your check. I don't care if it's just $30. You put it in this account, and that account has to have your signature and his signature for that money to ever move. The third and fourth account, you should have a bank account, and he should have a bank account. This is you all's allowance to one another. He gives you an allowance, and he gets an allowance. You're not allowed to ask him what he's doing with his money, and he's not allowed to ask you what you're doing with your money. That right there allows people to be married who have an imbalance of incomes so that they feel equally a part of everything. And you know what? There's a lot to that idea, too, because, you know, if, if Marjorie's got a bank account and she wants to buy Steve a birthday present, right? She, she's buying a birthday... If she's buying a birthday present from the joint account, he knows exactly what she spent on it. And basically, he bought himself a birthday present, in a sense. So there's something to yes, be said Lord. for this idea. You know, in my book, in my book, I call it, you know, yours, mine, and ours, the financial system yeah. that works. Mm -hmm. And I basically say that that's exactly what you need. You need to have a system in place where each of you has some autonomy, each of you has some, some self-direction and independence, but also a system where there's some real joint sense things. Because you do, like Steve said, you have a ton of joint expenses, of common things that the two of you have. And you should both have knowledge of what those things are. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Hey, if you like that video, there's more where that came from. Don't forget to subscribe and scroll down and hit that little bell while you're at it, too, to get notified every new video.